Hi guys, Connor from Zenfinex here, back with an updated gold monthly forecast. Today, I'm going to be exploring the gold market, which in my last video closed out a really rough quarter on a high-ish note around the key 1700 level. Now, I mentioned that there were signs that this could be a good month for gold, and this is proven to be true as we are swiftly approaching the key 1800 level. I'm going to see if there are still legs in this move, or whether we might start to see a chart pulling back just slightly. So from a fundamental standpoint, I've listed the most important themes that I'm going to be looking out for in the next month. I touched on two of these factors last time out, and it's going to be really an update on where we are now from where we were then. As always, we have to talk about the US dollar. As far as the DAX is concerned, it's been quite a rough month so far, as I'm sure you've all seen. It's wiped out pretty much all the gains that we saw in March and reacted to key resistance levels that I mentioned in the last video as well. Now, the one thing I would like to say is I am starting to see signs that the dollar may turn stronger over the next month or so. Volatility is picking up in the markets. We could see a rotation back to risk off mood, with the dollar performing better after finding support and closing above a key moving average. Now, I'm going to see how this week plays out. And if the VIX, which is the volatility index, can pick up um, some more after closing in the green yesterday, I'm going to be looking for that rotation into the risk off mood from what we saw last month with stocks down and dollar up. This could leave gold vulnerable for next month, so be careful on that one. Uh, last time out on the rising yield story, we were at around 1.7%. Um, we were sure to reach 2%, and although I do think this will still happen, we are starting to see a pullback in the 10 year Treasury yield to below 1.6% around 1.55% when I checked this morning, which has allowed gold to move to the upside, really. Now, gold was up on Wednesday morning. This was in Asia. Uh, the softer US Treasury yields, as I said, they increased demand for the safe haven metal. Um, providing that the 10-year yields remain softer, remain lower, the gold strength will continue to pick up speed to test 1800, I think. Um, this is a really important variable to look out for for the next month if you are someone who's trading gold. Uh, meanwhile, just on a different different note, investors are waiting for policy decisions from central banks globally. Uh, this includes the European Central Bank uh, tomorrow and the US Federal Reserve in the following week as well. Now, investors expect the Fed and other central banks to remain dovish uh, due to the ever-rising number of COVID-19 cases that we're seeing, which could be supportive for gold for the next month. So another thing to look out for is to have a look at those um, central bank decisions. Okay, so gold on the chart now. I'm looking at the daily time frame first of all. And as you can see, when I had this, when I uh, recorded the video last time out, you can see that we have made these what I like to call equal lows. This was a good sign for me to start buying gold, and I did mention um, deep when we was at around 1680. This this bullish uh, candle uh, was a really strong sign, and as you can see, we've since then broken structure to the upside. First of all, around 1750, which I thought was going to provide a short term pullback which you can see it did but we've run straight through it again now what I'm looking for now is I'm looking for price to fall back into this daily order block which kind of ties in with the stronger dollar narrative that I've got going on or something that I'm expecting in the next few weeks we could see gold fall back into our daily order block here and then from there we can look for buyers and my target would be well my long-term target potentially would be the 200 day moving average but that'd be quite far away um, I'm also having a look at the 100 day moving average where this market could run into right now and this 100 day moving average will be sitting around 1802 um, so I'm expecting price to either fall back into our daily order block and we can go and target that 100 day moving average if we do already reach this 100 day moving average if we did push up just a little bit more up into the 1800s what i find quite interesting here and i'll delete is we actually at the same time would run into this daily order block this bearish order block
from there what we could see <clears throat> as you can see we're in it now um, if I move down on the lower time frame you'll probably be able to refine this a bit further price running up into our daily order block uh, smashing into the 100 day moving average and then a fall down into our bullish order block which would be sitting around here that's how I see gold playing out on the daily chart now if I'm thinking about dollar being stronger um, let's have a look to see if we can refine what was the daily order block into something a little bit smaller now, as you can see the last piece of, of bullish pressure before we had this break of structure I would actually call it up here which starts at around 1807 we could probably to be safe put it the order block down to 1803 because we know that the 100 day moving average is sitting there so this is now our four hour order block and as you can see from that level we actually broke this low here you can see that low we broke there which is our break of structure and we did actually run down eventually and break this low and this low so some clean I'll just mark them for you some really clean breaks of structure coming from this 100 day moving average coming from this 4 hour order block as well so if I go to where the price is at the moment scroll across you can see I've got the arrow here from the day I'm looking for price to run up into our 4 hour order block and then what I'm looking for is price to fall down and first of all test which is a key level at 1750 but it also fills this price inefficiency in here so you can see I'm kind of trying to paint a, paint a picture for what's going on price and efficiency here if price does just continue and run all the way through and we don't really get a buying opportunity from this price and efficiency I'll be looking for price to go down and as you can see fill some more market gaps from this bullish run so I'm wary of price at the moment here as well because it's failing to create a new high you can see this rejection that we've had here so potentially we could see before we even reach our 4 hour order block price run down and start filling our inefficiencies if I get rid of the inefficiencies you know where they are now just keep an eye on them buying opportunities for gold on the 4 hour chart 1750 4 hour order block key breaks of structure get rid of these ones so it's clear for you clean breaks of structure here you can see this this bearish um, candle and then this huge impulse uh, to the upside and it broke this structure or this high at around 17.58 and as you can see now since then we've kind of just been consolidating as I'd say so that's the story I see for for gold where do I see it going in the next month I favoring more downside I can't see it moving any further than um, just over 1803 which is around the 100 day moving average and a key order block I'm going to be a seller from there um, with the narrative that the dollar could turn stronger if our volatility starts coming in and right and yield start rising as well uh, after a period of consolidation I will then be looking to buy gold at around 1750 failing that I'll be looking to buy gold potentially at around 1730 but I'm going to see how this plays out for the rest of this week I'm going to keep an eye on the dollar keep an eye on the volatility that's going around keep an eye on the treasury yields keep an eye on the European Central Bank decision a lot to keep an eye on at the moment so I wouldn't just be buying or selling this market um, out of nowhere there's some really important events coming up uh, which we need to look out for first but that's it for today guys I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video please drop a comment um, in the comments section or on my Instagram above me um, also like and subscribe to these videos make sure your notifications are turned on as well so you'll never miss out a video I'm going to be doing a silver video tomorrow as well so I'll catch you all then cheers